Anything else you say to the issues in front of the board? Okay, we'll go to the county administrative report on page 18. So the first thing I'm going to report is the road department. It's a monthly live route report. Uh, if there's any questions regarding the live route report. And, uh, okay. Look. Before y'all get excited about the live report, I told Ron that down there to look. Last month, we were going to open up that other sale. And what we're doing is backfilling another sale. So they stayed within that tent mostly the whole month, hauling topsoil and dirt off that rock, and putting it back in another sale. That's the reason the rock count is as low as it is. Thank you. All the roads are in good shape, though. We ain't needed That ain't the case. All right. <laughs> the next one I have is the approval of the scop agreement for bridge repair and rehabilitation of County Road 340 over the Rockwell Bridge. This is for repair of, of the Rockwell Bridge. This is from the Florida Department of Transportation. The amount of this uh, grant is for $1,216,316. Uh, we need approval to move before this. We also have to do a resolution that goes with this, and that will be in Mr. Lane's report. Yeah, you can go ahead and approve this. I, I've reviewed it. It's uh, in keeping with the other documents that we've had. So, I haven't got this. This is the motion. I make the motion to approve. Second. There's been a motion to the Commissioner Chair Mike and second by the Commissioner John Metcalf to approve the Small County Housing Trust and Bridge Repair of the Rockwell Bridge. Uh, any discussion? Aye. And along with this same item, um, we have three engineers on staff, so we need to determine which engineer we want to use for the uh, part of for this transportation uh, in the past. And those engineers have been doing all of our roads. Uh, I didn't have an opportunity to do a little history on this, and at one time, the uh, the, the county had considered doing some repairs to the underneath part of this bridge on their own, but they decided not to because of the cost. And during that during that period, Mills Engineering was involved with uh, looking at that, coming up with some of the repairs. Um, but uh, that was a good little while back. But now that we have the funding for this, um, I just need to know which engineer to. Now you can't go out for a bid because I think when you have your three because you've already bid those and that goes against the competitive negotiation act. You, you could have a system where you go one, two, three, or they could specialize in three different places, a rotation system, or you could say one of them does all my roads, one of them does this, one of them does that. You, you can do that. Do we have, have a policy in place for that? Yes. Sir? Do we have a policy in place for rotation? Or no, sir. One does does roads and one does other issues? Yeah. Um, I can tell you that um, Mid Tower has just finished up a, finished up a building uh, with us, the record storage building. They're also working on some plans for another building. And um, they're also looking at the Springs Restoration Program because they're very familiar with that type of dredging. Um, we have uh, CHW who is working on the CDBG, CDBG project, which that wasn't really through the county, that was supposed to be a CDBG project. Um, and then we have Mills who is doing some road. Billy, what to what extent did Lee go with on that bridge whenever he was looking at it? Originally, when, when what we were looking at was doing the uh, bunker where it was washing out, uh, he did do a uh, four engineer permit, which has since expired because we got the cost of it. You know, he was looking at putting the uh, ant road, ant noise on it. 
meeting and Teresa did come back, she was going to make a formal request, but we got on the agenda. This is a, uh, a fundraiser. It's not to benefit Rotary, it's to benefit, benefit the Child Advocacy Center that hopes to be built out here. And I know there's been a lot of groups talking about this, so I, I didn't want to be any misperception. And I'm pushing it to raise money for Rotary. It's, it's about a need for the community, and we're asking to utilize the facility for uh, a race event that would be 100% of the proceeds would be going to this. Um, Future facility that we do need. With that, I'll make the motion. Maybe, you might go ahead. Second. You make the motion. I make the motion. To approve. A motion to approve the request by the Trenton Rotary. Second by Commissioner Kenny Thomas. Second by Commissioner Gray. Uh, any discussion? All in favor say it by saying aye. Aye. All opposed say aye. Uh, Mr. Gray, one question on this. Who would be the contact person or someone contact Mitchell or Mr. Teresa Mark? would be for now. Or, or I could do it either way. Okay. What date was that? April 12th. If y'all haven't signed up, you need to sign up. Mike, paddle, and run. <laughs> for a good cause. <laughs> I've got a question on that. Um, how are we going to designate who you know, is going to like we have to sign up for the event? I, I, we, we don't know the numbers yet. Um, we think it will be a pretty big crowd. And there will be family coming out to pick up some sick people, so it's going to be difficult to track who is going to join. Um, I think this will usually does a pretty good job of tracking the people who are there to use the park on normal basis, so we'll get the thing to try to make sure. It, it should be real hard. Yeah. And, and really, to be honest, we're hoping this will get some exposure to the park and bring people back, so I'm looking at this positive. Okay. Okay. Uh, next is item number five under CDC, the Turf Development Committee. Um, we need the board to, if they would, please appoint uh, Councilman Everett Heaton to the TDC board as a representative for the city of Trenton. Uh, Ms. Wilkes was their representative, but she's no longer on the board. Um, and uh, Mr. Heaton has uh, attended one of the meetings and is showing the interest in, in representing Trenton and Trenton's approval to be representing so we can have a board. Motion to approve. Second. Right. Motion to approve the appointment of Everett Heaton. Any 
going back to comment on that CDPG. Uh, Y'all are representing the CDPG, right? Yes, sir. And I was, had a, just a general conversation this morning with our road superintendent. Y'all understand about that road? The proposed road to be built, if that's not the county space, the appropriate right of way, it's going to stop this trash. You understand that? Yes, sir. We're aware of that, and my understanding is that there there's some progress has been made about um, working out the issues with the right way. Okay. So. Well, I just want to make sure that this understood. We we had an unpleasant experience with the road without proper right of way. We're not going to do that again. Yes, sir. They will not. Uh, the CDBG program will not actually give the county money if it's if it's not designed to proper standards and, and they always since their state agency they always uh, fall back to DOT standards and all that kind of stuff. Yes sir. Thank you.